Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert in St. Petersburg, Florida, and we are here to talk about what is a quotient in mathematics. Now, the definition of a quotient is very simple. It's actually the result of division. In other words, the answer that you get when you divide two numbers. So we're going to go over a few examples on finding the quotient, and here we go. Now, all you really need to find a quotient in mathematics is a pen, a piece of paper, and a calculator if you need it. Now, in some examples, you might have division written this way, 40 divided by 10. Now, the first number mentioned is known as the dividend. The second number is known as the divisor. But what we're concerned about is the quotient. And the quotient is, again, the answer that you get when dividing. Now, 40 divided by 10 is going to be 4. And that is what your quotient is going to be. Now, another example is if you have division written this way, 21 divided by 7 in fraction form. Now, again, the numerator is your dividend, the denominator is your divisor, but again, you're concerned about the answer because that's going to be your quotient. 21 divided by 7 is going to be 3. And lastly, you can have division written possibly this way, where it's broken up into kind of like a house format, where you might have, for instance, 39 divided by 13. Now, 39 is your dividend. 13 is your divisor, but again, you're concerned about the answer, which is going to be your quotient. Now, 13 going to 39 is going to be three times, and that is also your quotient. Now, there are many other ways you can find quotients, but these are three of the most common types. Now, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that is Quotient in Mathematics.